Hi, um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do the EA video logo effect. Um, how they have it to where uh, you do a, a video and then lo like a video inside of the logo, like with the Medal of Honor video, how they have it to where it's the logo and you see um, explosions going in the back, terrorist wins. Um, so what you'd first do is you'd open up After Effects, you drag it out onto the thing. Uh, gonna have to make it smaller here just because um the picture I got was too big for the comp which the composition is 720 by 480 um 20 24 it's not what uh shit doesn't matter 24 frames whatever I'll do 24 um and then the first thing you're gonna have to do is figure out where god damn that um, I'm just gonna, yeah, where, uh, yeah, never mind that. Fuck. You're gonna have to do where the, uh, what you're gonna use, right? So, I was thinking we would use an explosion. Um, fireball at cam 4. See what it looks like. I probably should have planned this out a bit better, but I didn't. It's pretty nice. Alright, and then to do this, you're gonna put it out on it. Alright so that it's now above this so when it plays BAM goes right in front of it right let's go out and let's make it to where it's better on the um on the video itself so it's gonna come out it's gonna boom go like that okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and make this um 200 so it's gonna be twice as long so that the flames don't gonna have to make it probably actually 300 because you see the flames cut out way too early so that and then it just sits there right we don't want that so we're gonna have it to where it's gonna be like BAM right boom boom and then the flames are gonna cut out right about there so uh, let's go ahead and ah crap control Z to fix that and then we're gonna make this to where this part of the flame goes below so see it's gonna be boom and then it's gonna fade off so about seven seconds long let's go to seven here and then we're gonna clip it which there's a button for that but I forgot the button my bad alright and then we're gonna take this pen tool makes a mask and then we're gonna draw a mask around this it doesn't have to be perfect now um you might want it to be perfect but it does not have to be unless you want it to be perfect which um for the tutorial sakes and the fact that I never make it perfect anyway we're just gonna go ahead and cut this little bitch up bam yeah it's control Z the last one I want this this part to be better boom I and then that's what's gonna have. Now we're gonna move this down here. Gonna go back um, here. So then I'm gonna switch it to Luma inverted. Now, yeah, as you can see, there is a little t bit of an issue with the mask. So I'm going to. Yeah, a little bit of an issue with how I put the mask. It's my fault, so I'm going to go ahead and change this to no track mat, make it easier. Delete it. Now I can't see it, though, so you're going to have to unsolo that. M put this back on here. Actually, I don't really like this thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and import a different one. Um, explosion. I want a fireball with debris. Let's just say, it's not what I wanted to do at all. Click this for a reason. I'm going to click it. See, boom. Where is the debris in that? Anyone? Anyone at all? Does anyone see debris? Please comment if you do. I do not see debris, and that is stupid. The fuck? Fireball? Oh, fireball during the day. Why would I care about a fireball during the day? It's not going to be pretty. There's some debris. It's not enough though, it's not enough. We we want more. We want more debris. We want more going on in the background. Gonna go ahead and 
we're going to find this out, guys. Don't worry. Fireball debris 1 through 5. Or 2 through 5. Whatever the fuck. Okay. Click this. Again, there's barely any debris in that. I don't even know why they would call that fireball debris. That was worthless. That's much better. Fireball debris 3. It looks like it's going to be the winner. Unless 4 steps it up. 4 did not step it up. It went down a notch. Not a huge notch, but a notch nonetheless. Fireball 5. Ooh, Fireball 3 is the winner. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we'll take Fireball Debris 3. Put it out. Let's just go through it a little bit. Boom. Alright, the Fireball starts there, right? We want it. We want to move it to where the Fireball is going to start in the middle of the screen. We're also going to make it to where it's about... The Fireball at the beginning is going to be about as wide as the whole thing. But, if you notice, the Fireball never touches the top part. So we're going to need it to be a bit larger in scale also. So, boom. Hmm. It's very, very bad. But, let's make it just a little bit wider. Maybe a bit longer. Move it up a tiny bit. So it's just going to come, blow, and then go past. Alright, so now we... I know I'm saying I a lot, a lot. Don't judge me. Okay, so now we're going to need to pen tool this. So let's just go ahead and... I'm going to try and make this one actually good for the sake of the fact that I'm doing a tutorial. By the way, how you drag it is you click in the middle button. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Getting there. Yep, we're still getting there. What was that? Okay, so let's go Control Z. Control. I I didn't like how far off that one seemed. Boom, boom. Okay, it's starting to get less precise, but at the same time, it's not necessary to be perfect in all things. See, but that's just unacceptable. Okay, that one's just an error. Boom, and connect it. Alright. Gotta say, I, I eat too much. Now it's gonna go. Now we're gonna unsolo that. So, this is what it's gonna look like. And then you gotta make sure to drag it down, though, guys, because if you don't, it won't do anything. That's the alpha mat. Watch the alpha mat. Boom. It's just showing the fire. Nothing else. Just the fire. If you do alpha inverted, then the fire would be just on the outside of it. Right? Um, Luma mat inverted is this, which it doesn't really use all the colors or anything. And this one is just completely using the background footage to highlight the front round footage features. Now, I'm sure this isn't exactly how you do the EA logo or something like that. We're going to go ahead and stretch this, actually, because it's not long enough. Let's go ahead and make that 400, maybe 350. 350 should work. I'm going to actually 275 or 300. Because I want to make it to where the, the fire goes away just as we're ending it at about 7 seconds. So that's how you basically do the easy effect for the thing. Now, um, this is a very easy effect. Um, here, let's turn off the mask. Um, and then we can even do a little play thing for you so you guys can see it a little bit. I mean, it, it's, it's a really easy thing to do. Um, it's even easier... No, it's really easy to do. There's no if ands or buts about that. Um basically all you have to do is make sure that uh I mean that's pretty damn close. I mean maybe if I uh actually maybe if I rotated this um the fireball if I rotated it K 
Okay, I don't actually know how to... There it is. No! Okay, let's go ahead and make that. No track map. Put that there. Take the fireball. Move it up. Maybe that'll maybe do something. Uh, don't solo that. I want to see that too. Okay. Oh, it's the mask on it. The mask is the problem. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and... Um... Oh, the mask is up here. My bad. The mask is going to delete the mask. Um, then we're going to see, because if you look, that's, that's not, I just want to kind of scrunch it. Wow, this is not what I'm, alright, so then we're going to make this, sorry, larger. I don't want to make it larger that way, I want to make it larger this way, so it's wider. And then where is the, okay, so the thing, it starts here. So basically we just need to flip it horizontally. So that it, it shoots, well, not completely hor horizontally. We need it to shoot like so. Boom. Yeah, it's just kind of hard to figure out exactly what one wants for this. I make this as wide. Gotta see where the shot goes. So it needs to be wider this way. Maybe it needs to be longer. Basically, this isn't gonna work too well. Oh, that, that might do it. Let's put it like this and just keep dragging this down. That's gonna. Okay, so it would be like. Yeah, let's just totally just disregard everything I just did. That was just me trying something new. Don't try stuff new, kids. It's not a good idea. There we go. Alright, back to where we were. Um, this is how you do this effect. This is how I did um, my recent videos. Is I just, um, alpha, and, then, and if you wanted to do um, a background, you can even do a background let's say we we go get a texture um grunge textures see the thing i don't like about the grunge textures is there's really nothing i like from it texture five there's the middle okay and then we're gonna go ahead and put that below everything seeing that that'll even bring it out even more and then but see, when you do that, when you put on a texture, you have to make sure the texture matches what you're doing. So since this one doesn't, we're going to go ahead and open up the curves. Take the contrast down a lot so that it'll... See, look. when you So that the picture itself... I mean, that, that looks far better than it just did. And then um, scale it down a shitload so that it's more in the frame if you want you can either do some where is it tint that way it is well, it's already black and white so that seems kind of stupid or you can add some a little bit of color you can take this and put it on there that kind of stuff you know stupid shit and um if you wanted to you can even uh add some ooh maybe you guys want to see a little bit of a particular we could but I don't like using particular too much could use um some optical flares in it maybe could put some gunshots and explosions in the background let's do that instead of doing um optical flares 14 minutes wow <laughs> okay well I don't care I'll just make it like 20 minutes And optical flares usually loads up a lot faster than this, but since I am, in fact, recording, it's not going to be that fantastic. Um, Alright, so, basically, that's all you really need to do to get the um, EA logo video thing going on. I mean, it's just simply, I mean, it's not very hard. Um, say you wanted to add in some gun fact, gunshots. Libraries, documents, After Effects, Action Movies Essentials 2. 
essentials. You can do blood. You can do charges, atmospheres, dust elements, fire, glass, muzzle flashes, which is gunshots, sparks, smokes, powder, water, shells. I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty cool. It really is. All the um, you should get access essentials. The, all the stuff you can add on is is ridiculous. I don't even know what the fuck this is. Oh, so if we want to do that, we're going to want to move it down. What is the effect itself? It didn't look like much. It's just like a little tiny explosion. Okay, so we're going to want to move like the top around to bottom to about where it... Okay, so it explodes from like right there. So let's move. Meh, that's not worth it. Alright, but yeah, that's how you um you do it. Um if you want more tutorials I can show you how I did um other video effects. I can show you how to do gunshots, uh Pretty much everything I can show you how to do. Um, that's just a really simple one, how to do the EA logo. They had um, they had a solid video going on in the background, though, for um, most of their shit. And a lot of their shit's a lot customized. But for just a brief overview, this is um, that's how you do it. Um, let's get the texture out of there. That's how you do it. Um, it's really... Uh, there's a lot you could do with After Effects. Um, so, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe.